Are you searching? Many are, and there are many roads. Perhaps Dusty can help you find the right one. I am an old range rider. I follow the cattle trail. Just me and my caballo. Our journey's quite the tale. I still rope and wrangle. Can toss a steer with ease. I spur my big horse, Dusty, to take me where I please. He slowly dismounted from the horse and stood in the dust, examining the trail. He'd been to Cowtown once or twice in his adult life, but it'd been a while. From this point, just across the river, there were two well-traveled ways to get there. There was also a lesser path, more dangerous in the steeps and falls, but the scenery was said to be spectacular. It should have been an obvious choice, but his mind was full of other thoughts, and now and then his heart grew heavy. As a cowpoke, he was more than fair. He could ride and rope with the best of them. He was a natural at handling livestock, and he could toss a steer without much trouble. Dusty, his horse of many years, was getting older now. Gently, he rubbed the nose and offered up a chunk of salt, which was the horse's favorite. Thinking still about the changes to the cowboy way, he knew that life had run its course. It was time to move on to what he could do next. Dear Lord, you've always guided my footsteps, whether I've asked for help or not. Well, sir, now I'm asking for that help. Me and Dusty got a ways to go, but sure as I'm standing here, I'm in a ponder as to the best way to get there. Preacher man always says, you got the way for us. Not that it's the easiest way or even the way we'd take given our own choosing, but it's the way we should be going. He looked down at the broad weathered hat in his hands. Lord, show me that way. With these thoughts on his mind, he mounted Dusty, spurring the big horse he gave it free rein. A notion came to let Dusty pick the path. After all, he thought, were all God's creatures. Maybe Dusty knew the answers that today he did not. From his vest pocket, the cowboy pulled a sheet of tattered paper, folded and creased with wear. Neat ink lettering penned long ago was barely legible now from calloused fingers touching it so many times. Preacher man said these words might help, he told Dusty. It's from Revelation, for the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. In response, Dusty nickered once over his shoulder. Then he bobbed his head and began to trot down the trail in long, easy strides. Their journey had begun. Folks often ask me, where do the stories of Dusty and the cowboy come from? Well, that's a question I ask myself every day. When I think about it, the best answer is that I've been lost in this life. Too often, I've ridden down the wrong trail, sometimes because I didn't know better, occasionally even when I did. Then one day a surprising thing happened. Without knowing why, I sat down and wrote the first draft of Dusty. It wasn't until the story of the cowboy and his horse was recorded as an audio track that I figured it out. Dusty launched me on my Christian walk. The good Lord gave me the talent and the wanting to write. My desire is to have these stories help spread God's word. If nothing else, it's to share a story told well to those who will enjoy it. As always, vaya con Dios, mis amigos. <laughs> If you don't yet know the Lord, then let today be the day. Begin with this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In your name, amen. If you're interested in learning more about this ministry, go to projectdusty.com.
www.thepeopleshow.com.